Hi guys. So today here I have my uh, R710 and I have a slight problem with this machine. Now it's not a serious problem, but um, when I watch some other videos of other people with R710s and while it was booting up, um, usually after the configuring memory message and all that stuff, you'll see the Dell logo. On this machine, for whatever reason, it doesn't do that. And so it's purely a cosmetic problem, but it kind of bugged me a little bit. And so I was looking into it a, a bit and uh, I saw some mentions that if you clear the NVRAM, um, that might clear the problem and you'll see the Dell logo. So I thought I would uh, make a video uh, showing uh, my attempt of doing that and see if it actually solves the problem. All right, so let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let's power this guy on. Okay, so here's the configuring memory, please wait. And usually after this, you should see the Dell logo show up with a little progress bar. And in my case, it's a little different. Okay, that's done. Okay, so like right about now, I should be seeing a Dell logo in blue, I think, and then a little progress bar. And instead I'm seeing kind of the post messages. So I don't know why this machine came in this state, <clears throat> but um, I read that if you reset the NVRAM, you can, you know, fix this. I, I don't know if you really call it fix it because there's no functional problem here. It's just kind of a cosmetic issue. So I'm going to go ahead and power it down. All right. Open this guy up. And this is the uh, <clears throat> user guide or manual to the server. Um, this is on page 178. It shows you where the clear NVRAM uh, jumper is. And so it's right behind the power supplies. Okay, so get my tweezers here so there are two jumpers here um, there's this one in kind of towards the side of the power supplies and that is to enable or disable the uh, password feature so that has nothing to do with uh, what I need to, to do today but this other one that's uh, on the side facing the the memory slots is the one that's the clear NVRAM so in the default setting on pins, I think this is three and uh, five, this retains uh, the BIOS settings. And so when we clear the NVRAM, all the BIOS settings are going to uh, be cleared out. And hopefully that also means the, the, the fact that the Dell logo is not showing up during post uh, will also get resolved. All right, so I'm going to remove this and put it on to uh, pins. So that would probably be pin uh, one and three, okay? And so I think pin one is here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one and three. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and power this guy on now and it should clear the the NVRAM and, and hopefully let's see if the, the Dell logo comes back. Oops, ouch. All right, let's power it on. All right, there's the Dell logo. So we got that back. Although I didn't see the configuring memory message. That was kind of strange. I was expecting to see that. I'll let this finish doing what it's doing and I'm gonna shut it off and then we'll change the, uh, the jumper back to its normal position. So one thing to remember, if you, if you do this, all the settings in the BIOS are cleared. And so you're gonna have to, once you put the jumper back in the default position, 
on pins uh, three and five, you're going to have to go into your BIOS and reconfigure any settings that uh, you wanted that are not the default. This is probably doing a memory test. And so that's probably one, one setting that I'm going to have to change so that it'll skip the memory test because this will just take forever on every boot. Okay, so jumper is installed in system board. Please run setup. Wow. I'm not sure why it's telling me I should run setup because any changes I make now are not going to be retained anyway. Okie doke. So, anyway, I'm not going to bother making any changes here right now because it's, it's not going to retain anything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and power this off and put the jumper in the default position and boot up and see if we continue to... Uh, see the uh, the default boot up logo and all that stuff now I, I don't know why this machine um, didn't show the Dell logo uh, initially this is just the way I got it uh, it's a used machine of course so I, I, you know who knows what's happened to it I did run an up, uh, BIOS update and that didn't make any changes so only this NVRAM reset seems to uh, actually affect a change if you're trying to get the Dell logo back. All right, so I'm going to put it back in the default uh, three pins three and five position, and we'll boot it up again. And this time um, I'll go into the BIOS and actually make any changes I want to make on this thing. Okay. Let's see how it behaves now. Okay, configuring memory. That's what I was hoping to see last time. I didn't I didn't think I saw that on the previous boot. But after this, I should see the Dell logo if that problem is resolved. If not, I guess I'll see the Phoenix BIOS output on the screen like I did. All right, so we got the Dell logo. So whatever problem was causing this not to appear and uh, let me hit F2 here um, and just went to the default Phoenix BIOS output. Um, is now gone. So anyway, hopefully you guys find that useful. If you're having the same issue and you wanted to be able to see your Dell logo uh, on during post, um, clear use the uh, clear NVRAM jumper, power it on once, then make sure this shows up, shut it down, and move the jumper back into its default position, and you should be good to go. But just remember, you have to after you've done that, you have to go back into your BIOS and uh, restore any settings that you you wanted uh, to have enabled or disabled in, in your BIOS. Like for me, I'm definitely going to disable this memory check thing and, and probably uh, a few other things I'll be changing in there. But anyway, I'm going to uh, cut the video uh, here. But if hopefully you someone will find this video useful. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like. If you uh, want to see other videos from me, please be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.